Hi everyone, Cinder here. Time to see what's going on under the orphanage in Dragon Quest XI. To a fresh one. out of town all those years ago. Huh. Yeah, it's Sir Henry. Just want to clear the money. <laughs> Nicely done, Lassie. I hope you'll forgive me, but we had a wee rummage around in your room, Vince. Okay, so it was rather good. Uh, that's what you drink before your fights, isn't it? friend he squeezes from the fighters he kidnapped. That's terrible. That... that was you? <laughs> Perhaps not all humans are as stupid as our muscle-bound friend here. That's right, old man. Hendrix scarred me, but he did not kill me. The extract. It was the only way to regain my strength. So I had Vince bring me the choicest morsels. And why would he help me do such a thing, you ask? Because I offered to share the fruits of my labor to give him strength beyond imagining. Who could refuse such a juicy offer? Hmm? <laughs> I couldn't keep on winning forever. And if I wasn't winning, I wasn't bringing in the money we needed for the orphanage. Sorry, partner, but I can't let those kids down. Which means I can't let you and your friends leave. Come on, not now. Oh, will you look at yourself, laddie? Do you not see what that stuff's doing to you? That foul fluid wasn't meant for human consumption. It's eating you from the inside out. It's a miracle you're still alive. Uh, oh, man. Oh, I guess cheaters never prosper, huh? <laughs> at last, old friend. Such a shame. Then I suppose I'll have to deal with you myself. Keep that thing busy. 
I'll see if I can get those people down. Right. <laughs> Boss battle versus the Arachigon? Arachigon? You got a Did you get two turns? Ah. Didn't get the poison, though. Um, you made a deal with with the demon. And it's not going to work out. It just doesn't. Um, I, it's great you wanted to help the orphanage, but there there are other ways you could have done that. All right, we'll deal with that later, though. Flame slash, take fifty. That's a good start. I doubt you can be poisoned. <laughs> Don't have Frizzle, that'd be really nice. Okay, just start casting. Magic Barrier. Let's go ahead and stay on top of the healing. Sam! I'll keep it up with Flame Slash. I bet it's weak to fire. Being a spider. Cuffuddle. Bronca became confused. And got knocked out of it, so hey, that all worked out. All things considering. You still only slash once on Nope, you you still hit twice, so cool. She didn't like that too much that you did that to her. Again. Nope. You didn't poison me either. Ooh, we did poison him. <laughs> okay. Ring of Rack and Ruin. Someone's a signal that sends the chance of your party's casting critical spells through the roof. If somebody else becomes. Have to, well, I don't think we've seen this one. Let's do it. Critical spell. <laughs> Critical spell's chance increased massively. <laughs> hey, that was really funny. <laughs> Spell. There we go with Zam. 125. A ferocious volley of steam. Everybody gets hit. And defense went down. But you're poisoned. Victimizer. 248. You're not poisoned anymore. But jeez. Mid heal. Thank you. We'll soon have that patched up. Critical hit, one twenty eight. All the damage. Man, if you're poisoned, victimizer, victimizer is no joke. And poison guy. Whoa. Another day, we... another victory. <laughs> that was a very smooth victory. Man, all the uh, the criticals, the uh, poison, just everything. We dealt so much damage there. That was a great fight for us. Three thousand EXP for everybody and two thousand seven hundred gold coins. Level 22. There's three skill points. 
10 HP, 4 MP, 3 Strength, 2 Resilience, 3 Agility, 2 Deafness, 3 Magical Might, 3 Magical Mending, 2 Charm. Veronica reaches level 22. 6 HP, 6 MP, 3 Strength, 1 Resistance, 3 Agility, 3 Deafness, 5 Magical Might, 3 Charm, and 3 Skill Points. I feel better than ever. Serena reaches level 21, gets her 4 Skill Points. 9 HP, 5 MP, 2 Strength, 1 Resilience, 3 Agility, 2 Deafness, 4 Magical Mending, 3 Charm. <sighs> Got it. Yeah. Miracle Slash. I'm gonna grab Miracle Slash. Then we'll go Dragon Slash and start moving up. For Veronica... She now knows Sage's Breath, whips up an Ethereal Wind that gradually restores the user's MP. Angel's Breath, usable when Veronica is pepped up, and it uses Veronica and uh, Serena. So now she has a move she can use by herself. Well, not by herself, but uh, when only she's pepped up. And this is Channel Anger. Greatly increases the damage done by any offensive spells the user casts. Take 16 MP, and she just gets super angry and start channeling it into her spells. Cool. I think I want that. Maybe Staff of Salvation. That'd be useful. Yeah, you need three more points. Awesome. And don't come back. Exactly. I was never going to make enough dough to keep the place open. So when I heard that voice, drifting up from down here, right beneath the orphanage, I... I listened. All I had to do was help him out, and he'd make me the toughest fighter around. It seemed like a pretty sweet deal. So I said, sure. I wanted to win the tournament so bad, needed that money so bad, I let him use me. I knew it was wrong. But that orphanage, man. That's where I was raised. Those kids are my family. I had to do it. I had to. So you let your desire to help the Bairns get the better of you. Well, there's certainly been greater evils done for less good. Yeah, that's true. Tell you what, I'll have a word or two with the mayor. Don't worry, lad. We'll make sure the orphanage is looked after. So, chin up, eh? Just don't let me catch you making deals with nasty beasts again. You hear? Exactly. His so, heart was in the right place. I don't know what to say. Having successfully solved the case of the missing fighters, me and her friends spend the night at the end. The next morning... Wakey, wakey, little soldier. Come on now, time to get up. I said, uh, wake up. Uh, so stop, someone. 
Hate to drag you out of bed, but we need to head up to the arena. Why? I'm tired. That prize they never got around to giving you? Well, they want to hand it over. Let's get oh, moving right. before they change Rainbow. the mind. Thanks, Eric. Not so loud next time, Savanda. If you're looking for me, I'll be in the cheap seats. Don't forget to give me a wave. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't yell at me to wake me up like that. Just, uh, no, no. Sixteen thousand. By the way, I got a uh, in-game achievement. It was a uh, for a rainy day, something like that. Um, saving for a rainy day or just rainy day. Um, for having over ten thousand in the bank. Hey, Central, it's time for the ceremony. Vince is back on his feet and raring to go. He's in the arena already. Everybody's waiting for you. Cool. Oh, thanks. You just take me there. Everybody, it's time to bring this year's Masked Martial Arts Tournament to a close. It's prize giving time. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our champions, the Invincibles! I admit the game got me. I thought Vince was just going to turn out to be completely and evil after the, the potions. Um, so that was a interesting, interesting twist there, at least for me. Hold up! Hold up! Hmm? Seems kind of a shame to have the good folks of Octagonia come out and support us and not give them a show to enjoy. Why don't we make this interesting? Huh? I challenge you to a fight for the prize, partner. Winner takes all! Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the gauntlet has been thrown down! Now that's the stuff champions are made of! No backing out now. Unless you want to ride on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Fooled you. I don't do that stuff no more. I fight clean or not at all. Good for you, Vince. Good on now you. Let's do this. <laughs> let's go. I'm okay with this. Can't do enough. <laughs> Can't get through the armor without the uh, without the juice. I'm glad you fought fair, though, Vince. It's all over. The Good. champ is down. We have a winner. Vince looked kind of weak out there. He sure did. What's gotten into him? Uh, I needed people to see that. To see that I ain't nothing without that juice. I never had what it takes to be the champ. You deserve that prize, man. Thanks. Thanks, Vince. You taught me what it means to be a fighter again. I won't forget this time. Thank you, Vince. We love you, Vince! Thanks for putting it on the line for us every time! You're a true champ, man! This, 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 
this, this. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner of the rainbow is. This is bad. This is real bad. Huh? What happened? It's the rainbow. It's gone. You must be joking me. I <laughs> And all there was instead was this. What? And this letter too. Looks like it's for you. <sighs> the old man. All right. Give me this. Come and meet me in Dundrasil. I've something to show you. Don't worry about the rainbow. It's safe with me. All right. What a shocking twist to end our tale, ladies and gentlemen. The grand prize snatched from under our champion's nose by none other than Old Man Rab. Don't think he's bad. I think that he knows something. He has some knowledge he wants to give us. Will our hero journey to Dundrazil to claim what's rightfully his? How will it all yes. end? I no clue. for one can't wait to find out. Me either. Can I get something else though? Like y'all screwed up and lost my prize. So it's back to where it all began. Hmm. Savando? You know something too. There's a reason you came on this this journey when just for kicks. No, seriously, y'all owe me something. Like that. <laughs> it was stolen, but y'all let it be stolen. So you need to give me something. Undisputed champion of of Adria, awarded for overcoming the reigning champion Vince Vanquish and claiming the crown of Master of the Martial Ma Masked Martial Arts Tournament. This is Syndra. Hi, hi, hi. On behalf of the organizing committee, allow me to offer you my heartfelt apologies. Your price being stolen, it was our fault. Well, I say that, but we can't officially accept any responsibility, of course. That opened us up to all kinds of trouble. Still, you can track it down. It's all yours! No guy mission done or so, right? Maybe you should look for it there. Huh? Where's that? Southwest of here. Can't miss it. Scary old ruin, crawling with monsters. Really? What about the orb? Look like any old stick to me. Hey there, champ. Bet you're all cut about the rainbow being stolen, huh? Yes, I am. I will have it eventually, darn it. <laughs> Just a matter of time. Alright. To Nundersil. Wars Best Fighter, it's our new champion! Good to see you again! That's right. I didn't want to meet him there because it's super important. This was Sheen the whole time? That's a bit disappointing. So I suppose fans like me must take some of the blame. It can't be easy coping with all the pressure we put these fighters under. It's part of it too, right? Rab and Jade. Oh, but I'm sure I've heard those names somewhere before. Let me think where, though. Hmm. You have, huh? Yeah, there's something special about you the moment I set eyes on you, kid. You're different to all the other fighters. I'd love for you to stay and become the real Octagonian legend, but you want to know the truth? Town ain't big enough for you. Now you need to get out there and change the world. Ain't no limit to what you can do. Come back and say hi once in a while, okay? I'd love to. I, I really wanted that to become a mini game, but it doesn't look like it. Wait, 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 side quest. Finding the arena means performing in front of the crowd. That's against bad news out there in the ring. Keeping things blemish free and easy when you're getting punched in the face all day. Luckily, Mellow Vera can do a real good job of fixing up fighters' cuts and bruises, which is why I want some bad. 
grows by this big waterfall west near where Dundrasil used to be. Once you got some, you need to squeeze it to get the good stuff out. The Dapper Chap. <laughs> Melivera is that its roots go way down. Even the toughest fighter would have trouble trying to pull that stuff out of the ground. You need to cut off a piece or something. Sparkling near the big waterfall to the west. Skin care for the fierce and fabulous. I am sure all I have to do is ask um, Silvando and he knows exactly where this thing is. He probably has some. Silvando, help me do this quest, quest quick. <laughs> to the ruins of Dundrasil. Sparkle spots. Might as well grab some more ore. Aha! Chunk of silver ore. Also, enemy we didn't fight. It's in. It's. Fendigal. <laughs> okay. Oh, the Grublin just pieced out. It's funny we got that 2%. Insta kill on the first hit, we'll like never see it again. <laughs> May heaven's winds propel thee hence. Huh? Not a spell. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh yeah. Eric reaches level twenty two. And there's a new spell, 10 HP, 2 MP, 4 Strength, 1 Resilience, 4 Agility, 3 Deafness, 3 Magical Might, 3 Charm. Peep. Peep. No, not like a... a um, maybe Assassin Stab? That's cool, but it's not a pet power piece. And I have terrible luck with insta-kill. The first hit insta-killing with the Assassin Dagger withstanding. Um... <laughs> Usually, moves like that, it's a low chance. Um, I don't know. If it has something else going for it, maybe. I think I'll get half inch, and then start going up the guile tree, which get more deafness, dodge chance, agility. Probably, so probably something like that. Um... Maybe sleeper hit, and then persecutor, the other, the other side of the knife tree. We'll see. Two chest. Now the one I made is better, <laughs> so, and I can sell it for money. So we just, yay! We, we say yay. Grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> Free one. <laughs> At least I can sell it. I can sell it for quite a bit of cash. Okay. Over here we go. Another enemy we didn't fight. Two of these tiger mast bunnies. Rotten tails. <laughs> I 
Oh man. It was a belly flop. With a standing 360. <laughs> Good block. Give me that one. Another one bites the, the dust. I'll finish it. <laughs> Uh, what do we have up here? If I can get it. Oh, well. You got me! Quite enough. They'll soon have that patched up. Critical spell! Heal 43. Neat! I didn't think about healing spells pretty. That's cool. Veronica wins again! Let's take this route up here, see if there's any treasure chests or anything. <laughs> There's more silver ore, if nothing else. Oh, maybe. I don't think that I can get over there from here. No, it's below us. Something up here, then? Oh. What do I need you for? Hmm. Um. The blanking one is in here. Almost. So you got 64 to 66 HP. Somewhere around there. Did I do all right? This hornet, but why? <sighs> jump down here. Oh, I see why. <laughs> oh, let me go get it. I figured you'd just jump from here, right? And float down. That's the whole point of having this thing. Well, that's extremely disappointing, I have to say. Well, why even give me this thing, then? Hmm. I honestly don't know. Well, we have it, so I'll just take it with us. See, I thought I'd just be able to float down like that. And she's let me... You can't fly. You don't really fly. Well, that's... That's very disappointing. <laughs> Chunk of silver ore. Um, I do not know how we get that treasure chest. Hmm. 
zero clue. I'll go back up there and see if I can't find a way to get it. Um, so that'll do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Until the next episode, I'm Sundray9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.